I'm Randy W. Ball, uh, pilot for Fighter Jets Inc. Uh, for the Russian MiG-17 that we brought uh, from Toronto, from Texas, USA, to uh, Toronto for the air show. Um, the airplane came, uh, we flew with the Soviet Air Force from March of 60 through May of 82. Uh, in 82, it was transferred to the Polish Air Force and flew at the Polish Air Force until 90, May of 90. Uh, our company acquired the aircraft in May of 94. Uh, we now operate three of the nine flying MiG-17s in, the, in uh, North America. When we get the airplane in from Europe, it's in crates, uh, in boxes, in pieces, um, you know, some assembly required. Um, I started by myself, but eventually got lots of friends, a couple of A&Ps. In fact, the, our chief of maintenance is a former SR-71 uh, mechanic for the Blackbird. Um, we um, became friends with several Polish mechanics. Henrik that come, travels to the United States now and works for us a couple of months every year. Uh, later today, my, my uh, traveling mechanic, it's a girl, Erin uh, Kelly, she used to work on um, F-18 Hornets in the U.S. Navy. Now works on uh, MiGs for us, uh, travels with us. You'll see her out here over the weekend. She'll be in pink, so instead of, uh, I know, uh, pink and fighters shouldn't go together, but she insists, so. Uh, but she's good at her job, so you know. I was uh, addicted, I guess, at a young, very young age. My dad was a private pilot, uh, flew just Cessna aircraft, uh, but he took me flying as a young kid. I landed and uh, took off my first aircraft when I was about 12 uh, with my father's uh, help. Um, I have a great uncle who's 94 uh, this last May. Uh, flew 50 missions over Germany in a B-17. So I uh, grew up, you know, pestering him for stories about what it was like to fly over uh, Germany in World War II and so forth. So I was I was uh, ruined from a very a very young age, wanted to fly bad. My father took me to an air show when I was pretty young, and that was it. I, I knew right then uh, what uh, what what I was going to probably want to do. So uh, as soon as I was old enough, I joined uh, the Commemorative Air Force, which flies mostly World War II stuff in uh, the United States learn the air show business from that and then eventually uh, from my experience flying the, the uh, vintage jets move those into flying air shows and I get people ask me why I chose a MiG all the time and I just tell them it's poor judgment uh, but uh, no and I'll just uh, I love the aircraft I didn't really set out to buy a MiG-17 it was just what was available when we were looking for an aircraft to fit a certain uh, contractual need uh, but then I just fell in love with the MiG um, they're a great air, air show aircraft the 17 was the tightest turning uh, fighter in the world until the uh, United States built the F-16. So in, in the mid-70s, uh, the MiG-17, later the Hornet, took over the mantle as a tighter turning fighter, but until that time, the 17 was the tightest turning fighter. And in an air show environment, you're trying to go fast, but yet keep the, the uh, jet in front of the crowd. So this allows me to uh, go near the speed of sound, go vertically, rolling reversals, and right back in front of the crowd, uh, maneuvers that aren't available in almost any other jet uh, that a civilian could own. Um, it, it can fly uh, contract flying as a threat aircraft for, uh, air, for military training, uh, but in these days, mostly it's uh, air shows now. This year is my 24th year as an air show pilot. Um, I've flown over a thousand performances. I'm um, the highest time uh, Western pilot in Soviet fighters ever. Um, I'm the only unlimited aerobatic uh, pilot in jets in the world for both day and night flight. Um, so I've been somewhat successful, I think. I mean, who knows? Uh, we'll see. You'll know, you'll know more tomorrow. Uh, but, it's, but I certainly enjoyed it. It's, a, it's, a, it's a very much a passion, not just an occupation. There's a couple of other things that we're going to do this weekend that'll be unique. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be filming from the cockpit every day. So we're going to have ultra high definition wide angle cameras in the cockpit. Every evening, um, we'll download some still pictures and uh, maybe video to our Facebook fan page, which is uh, Randy W. Ball. For those, if you're going to the show, watch the show from the lakefront or from boat, whatever. Uh, and then if that evening you can log on and see what it looked like uh, from the Jets cockpit.